Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Sonia and you're watching Domestic Diva. Today I am excited to share with you 10 spring and Easter DIYs um, that have been most popular on my channel um, forever. And this is based on views, comments, and likes. So the first one that I'm bringing you is the one I posted last year. And it was part of a... Um, collab that I did for spring from front porch I did a front entryway because it was too cold to do a, a front porch and I uh, did these uh, spring blocks um, and I just used some scrap wood that I had at home cut it up into squares use some scrapbooking paper from dollar store uh, and um, painted the blocks with the acrylic white paint and added the uh, letters and to the blocks and voila that's it I will have a full tutorial videos linked down below so that way you can watch the full full tutorial these are just clips clips of all the DIYs that you guys have left over the past couple years well pretty much over the past two years next video was part of a five dollar goodwill challenge and I had purchased a frame and a this hoop embroidery hoop is it and I made my own little wreath with the frame uh, using some nautical rope some uh, florals from Dollar Tree and some jute rope And this one has to be one of my favorite DIYs that I did last year where I purchased this pillow at Dollarama and then all the florals came from Dollar Tree and I created a bit of a knockoff that I saw at Michael's um, just a pretty floral pillow a decorative pillow and I use it this year in my decor again and I absolutely love it This one was very popular. I used the uh, so popular lavenders that they had in Dollarama and at Dollar Tree, as well as this uh, floral bucket from um, tin bucket from Dollar Tree, some nautical rope and hot glue and craft foam. I embellished the tin with some nautical rope, and then I went out of town, adding some of these um, lavender florals. Um, I just pretty much did did it the way I kind of liked the way it looked and played around it, with it until I reached um, the desired look that I was going for. I absolutely love these lavenders that the Dollar Tree has with lamb, look like lamb's ears and then uh, also these long lavenders that came from Dollarama. I just think those two together made this floral arrangement that much better. Now this was my favorite Easter DIY from last year where I made this, um, it's like a welcome sign for my front door using a board from Home Depot, some foam bunnies that I traced and made stencils out of, some chalk paint and some black wax and some white acrylic paint. Another Easter project that I did last year were these uh, Easter uh, bunny wood bunnies. I made this from scrap wood that I had in a garage and some acrylic paint and some ribbon. I think these are so cute. I have them back out again on my front porch. If you haven't seen my 2020 spring and Easter home tour, make sure you check it out. I will link it up in a corner for you to see. Thank you. 
Now from this year I made this um, really cute shamrock that I picked up at Dollar Tree and I painted it, added some little bit more of a design to it that would suit my style more. And I love the way it turned out and from the comments um, that I got you guys did as well. This video was part of a challenge. Um, that I did which I will have linked down below there were three different uh, DIYs in that video and the next one was part of it as well it was a um, Easter DIY that I did using burlap and some of these artist canvases from Dollar Tree Now these carrots that I made were very very popular, lots of great feedback on them. Um, you guys loved it and I did. they didn't cost me, it was a no spend DIY. I had this scrap piece of wood left over from a project, some of this grass um, that I had picked up for a different project but had tons left over. So I just put that all in to a DIY. It is important, especially now, um, to kind of use up your stash that you have instead of going out to the store and purchasing. And you'd be surprised things that you find around your house. I'm finding stuff all the time and uh, I can't wait to share some of the trash to treasure type of projects for you to see that um, you'd be surprised what you can find to make DIYs out of at home when you um, don't have a choice. Another Easter project from this year was the it was a look for less challenge that I did and my savings for this project were almost a hundred dollars which was um, great for me I guess and uh, again using scrap wood that I had at home I had this bunny that I purchased a while back gave it some new life uh, mixed some white and red chalk paint got rid of the glitter and um, put it all together. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you enjoy these type of videos because I have plenty of um, DIY projects and uh, uh, furniture makeovers to share with you. Uh, top 10, top 15 maybe even. So let me know down below if this is the type of video that you enjoy watching. So until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you're not subscribed, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching.